Are you recording? <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. You can try my keto hot chocolate. Oh. Version two. Now with only three ingredients. Yeah, that's really good. Is it? Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to add a little bit more <clears throat> stevia, but I like it. Awesome. How'd you make it? Butter. Cocoa. And whatever sweetener you want. I like pure. Oh, cool. You want me to show them the bag? Are you really recording? Yeah. Yeah. Pure. <laughs> it is stevia and erythritol, which is a sugar alcohol. Neither of which will spike your blood sugar and perfect for diabetics. Wow, I am so much taller than you. <laughs> I'm still, my head's still out of the camera. Ah! <laughs> I can always do this. Hey everybody, I'm five foot eight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Shorty McShort Short. Five foot two. Um. You must have Don't try to make yourself look taller. Why? Just get a stool, Shorty. What are you vlogging about? Uh, grocery haul. Oh, I totally vlog bombed you. Just edit me out. Oh well. <laughs> Now I gotta reposition this camera right high. Oh my god, this is so good. Hot chocolate. <laughs> Almost a coffee. It's awesome. You guys have to try this. I have to make a recipe video. Yeah. Make a recipe. I keep forgetting this is not my vlog. <laughs> okay guys, welcome back to Keto Country Homestead. I'm Kathy and today we're gonna do a grocery haul. So as you can see. You can't see all of it because we have a lot of food. So today I spent $208. I don't have a receipt. I didn't get one because I did Walmart grocery pickup and I don't know where the receipt is. But I spent $208, I know that. And um, I'm excited to show you what I got. I do not have a meal plan. I need to get on that. I need to do meal plans, but I didn't do that this week, but I know the kinds of foods that we eat and I know how to throw meals together really fast and I can usually grab what we have and make a meal pretty easily. So um, let me show you what we got. All right, starting on the stove, you'll see this is not keto foods, except for the eggs right here, that is keto, but that's because I ran out of space. Um, so we've got bread. Those are about a dollar a pack. The milk is actually $2. What is that? What are you doing? What? Did you just eat the whipped cream out of the pack? Maybe. I put it in the, in the mug. Stop disrupting my video. Anyways. We have macaroni and cheese for the kids. Hey! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I'm trying to do this video. Just one more. <laughs> I don't blame you, that stuff is really good. <laughs> okay, back to it. Um, okay. So we got macaroni and cheese for the kids. They love it. I'm not going to keep that away from them because they love it and it's easy. And if I need an easy meal, I'm going to make it. Hot dogs, same thing. Super easy. They can heat them up in the microwave for a quick meal. Chips. The kids love them. They're going to eat them with some keto yum yum salsa. Stuff like that. They love it. Bananas. Bananas are healthy. I like bananas for the kids. They eat bananas. Cereal, because I'm a mom. I don't wanna wake up super early and make breakfast every single day. So they're gonna get cereal and that's just gonna to have to be okay. And same with Raisin Bran. Now let's hit the keto foods. So we got a bunch of cauliflower. Don't pay attention to my dirty dishes, please. I haven't gotten to them yet. Cauliflower, tons of broccoli. We eat a lot of cauliflower and broccoli. Um, these are my energy drinks of choice because I love them. We have sausage. Usually I only make one pound of this, so this lasts two meals. 
Um, sliced cheese, that's for the hamburgers right here. We love these hamburgers. It usually makes one full meal and then me and David have like a lunch or something uh, extra. And then some bacon. They got me the wrong bacon, but it's still okay. Um, it's still keto. I got some green peppers. I wish they were out of my garden, but that's done for the year. And I didn't preserve enough. So, And then we got string cheese. That's a favorite around here. Um, some ground beef. Um, I'm not going to pay grass-fed prices because it's just not worth it uh, right now. But we're going to get a cow one day, so it'll be worth it. I got two packs of chicken. We eat a lot of chicken. Delicious, delicious chicken. It's tenderloins. That's what I usually make. We can make fried chicken, things like that with that. I got kale um, greens. I've been enjoying kale salads lately a whole lot. We make our own ranch dressing with this ranch so it doesn't have sugar in it. And then I just put like tomatoes, meat, and a couple other ingredients, like whatever I have on hand, like I'll probably put some green peppers in there, make a really nice kale salad. This will make a lot of kale salads. It should last the entire week, but I've been really enjoying them, so it might not last that long. Um, pepperonis, gotta love those. Um, this is Black Forest Camp, it doesn't have sugar in it. So we can eat that. I got sugar-free jelly. I actually haven't checked this to make sure it's keto, so I don't know if it is or not, but it seems like it probably is. I know the other brand is. Um, creamy organic peanut butter, no sugar added. That's awesome. Sugar-free whipped cream. David has that every morning with his coffee and I already had a couple, so I didn't need to buy a lot. Pizza sauce, this is the best sauce that you can get for anything. And um, <laughs> sugar-free Reese's, it's one of our favorites, isn't it? Oh, yes. It's really good. We've been geeking out on that lately, like a whole lot. Um, peanuts, we love peanuts, unsalted peanuts. David eats those. I don't mind so much the salt. Uh, I got one onion. I already have an onion. Ooh, can I tell the camera something about yeah. this? Yeah. These are really good. They taste exactly like Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. The only difference really is not even in the flavor. It's the texture of the peanut butter. The stuff, uh, the regular peanut butter is like gritty, uh, which is really just sugar. And this is mm, just a little bit smoother. Not creamy, just smoother. Anyways, they taste great, and it's only one carb for three of these. Oh yes! You eat three of these and you feel like you've eaten like like a candy bar. <laughs> it's, it's awesome, but it's only one carb. I was gonna just show this. This is questionably keto. This is what I eat because I can handle the milk sugar. Yeah. Um, it's questionably keto. It's keto for me, but it might not be keto for you. I put the Reese's peanut butter cups, sugar free, in this and it's so good. Yeah. I'm scared to touch that ice cream because carbs affect me a little bit more than her. So I just don't eat that ice cream. What I do eat is a coconut milk ice cream. Oh, can you grab one? Yeah, sure. Just to show them what... It's like in the middle of your grocery haul, but... It's okay. Yep. Vanilla bean, coconut milk. It yep. tastes great. And I like to mix like sugar-free jelly or peanut butter or these cups in there. Sometimes just a little sprinkling of cinnamon is nice. Yes. Okay, let me finish this up. I'm almost done. Uh, so, you know, we got the eggs. Um, we eat a lot of eggs, and our chickens are not producing yet. And our older chickens, they are only producing, like, a, a an egg a day. So, you know. Uh, Sugar-free syrup. We're going to eat chaffles this week. I already have cheese, so I didn't need to buy that. Uh, you saw the salsa. And that's it over here. Let's go over here and our drinks. So you saw my monsters and then I got Pepsi Zero and Diet Orange. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that grocery haul. And what I plan on making is, um, obviously I'm making with this stuff. Oh, that's what I forgot. Anyways, <laughs> this stuff, I'm gonna make taco soup again and we've been enjoying that a lot lately. And then I'm gonna make bacon and eggs on a bed of um, 
mozzarella. I really like making broccoli and roll-ups for lunch, kale salads, um, just a lot of food, and hamburgers one night, and yeah. Like I said, I haven't written it down and I really need to start doing that and then meal plan around those meals, but I just haven't gotten to that point yet. But I'm getting there. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in a uh, what I eat in a day video. I'm thinking about doing one of those videos um, just so you guys can see the kind of meals that we eat in one day or in an entire week. That would kind of be fun too. So you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.